going green is a is a mission of this city and a mission of uh, our state and it should be a mission of the world and we're looking at uh, going green one more time working with uh, working with private industry and joining in with the, the public sector and making sure that we all kind of work together to make this a better place and that's what all this uh, all, all that we're doing today is about uh, we're going to make sure that we have a sustainable in, sustainable city that we have a green city uh, and that we do our part for the environment and uh, we're joining with Barnes and Noble to do that and uh, for Barnes and Nobles we say thank you very much for your partnership and we look forward to working with you. We are thrilled to be a part of this green team initiative as a company we support uh, green initiatives through magazine and book recycling through cafe recycling and basically we are going to be through March 29th through the end of April partnering with our green team um, counterparts and we'll be offering a percentage of our sales to go to green in the green team initiative um, we're thrilled about this they're good people it's a very good time and climate to start thinking green and as a company, we really support this. One is that when you go in Barnes and Noble, if you go up to that counter and you purchase one of their lovely books, then all you have to say is, I'm going green, and then proceeds from uh, the sales of the books or anything in the store is actually going to go to Green Team, City of Huntsville, and ERSCO, which is the City Huntsville City School System. So both of those entities are going to actually get a lot of good out of this, and it's a whole month. So everybody's got time to get out and get your books, your environmental books, your cooking books, your gardening books, and all kinds of other things. So please, please do that for us. And just like the city of Huntsville, we try to stay green year round. But of course, this month with Earth Day being very, very soon, we've got to focus. Um, we try to stay with the young people. Um, we work with grades one through five, and we know that's where to start teaching people to be green is when they're young. And what a better place to do it uh, than with books and uh, activities. And there'll be activities for people of pretty much all ages down at Barnes & Noble uh, during this month, during this focus month. So. We'd like to have you down there to participate in those and to join us down there all month and uh, sharing ideas about being green and certainly we invite you to read as well. So uh, come down and join us and um, we'd like to see you there. Well, Mayor, thank you for helping us with our initiatives. We are looking so forward to this partnership and we need the help of everyone that's going to be watching this to go down and purchase something at Barnes & Noble so that we can get the proceeds, both Operation Green Team and Earthscope. And thank you all so much for coming today. special occasion to today where as you know we've been working on the police officers memorial for the last few months and we've uh, been looking for additional corporate sponsorship for the uh, police and memorial the fallen officers memorial and today we're going to have uh, Boeing uh, with the president uh, Mr. Tony Jones that's going to be do a presentation for the check and uh, just thank Mr. Jones thank you very much for that but uh, also at this point, I would like to have Mayor Tommy Battle come up and, and say a few words. Mayor Battle? Thank you. Guys, this is one of the times that we're really proud to have someone who's a good neighbor. And, uh, and Boeing has always been a good neighbor in this community. It's a big employer. Uh, it brings a lot of economic uh, stimulus to this area, a lot of economic money. And we are so proud that they have stepped in to do this for us because this is, this is our, our heart and soul. These are the guys who have been out there, they protect us. These guys here, guys over here, they're out there, they protect us every day. They take care of us, they make sure that you can sleep at night and that you're safe. And, and this memorial memorializes everything that they do plus the fallen officers and we've had some terrific guys who, who have been fallen officers. So uh, Tony, you're helping make this happen today. You're helping make this memorial happen and we want to say thank you as a good corporate neighbor and uh, we want to also thank the Boeing company for this too. Well this is uh, as you know from my perspective not about the money it's the right thing to do. Uh, 
in my past uh, in the military and, and now in Huntsville, uh, I've had the opportunity to travel throughout the world, and I've been in countries who, who don't understand the rule of law. I've been in countries where the police force is not value-based. And when you look to America, sometimes I get a little frustrated because we take our freedoms and our safety and our security for granted too often. It's these guys, they're out there 24-7, 365, ensuring that we have the freedoms that we so aptly deserve and enjoy every day. All give some, some give all, and we're here today to recognize a memorial which will remember those who gave all. My thanks to you, Mayor, my thanks to all the police force, because I, I truly am on your team and I'm proud of what you do, and I just wish more Americans would be proud of the same things that you represent. Uh, I also encourage all the businesses and all the people of Huntsville to join the Boeing Company in this great worthy cause and help us get this memorial set up to recognize our fallen comrades. Thank you very much. I get the envelope, that's right. Thank, thank you very thank much. You. Thank you very much. It is with uh, great appreciation that I accept this uh, check on behalf of the Huntsville Police Citizens Foundation charged with responsibility for uh, erecting and paying for this memorial in honor of our fallen officers. But I don't accept this check with surprise at all. Boeing has always been and always will a, be a wonderful corporate citizen of this community, standing behind the community and doing what needs to be done in this community. And so in that regard, uh, they have stepped up to the plate and we are hopeful that others will follow its lead in recognizing this memorial for, for what it is. I don't know how long it's going to take for us to get it done, but I assure you we will stay with it until it is completed and uh, timing is dependent primarily on this community. When it's ready for it to be completed, we'll have enough support to get it done. Sir, I thank you very much and your, and your uh, company as well. Thank you. I just want to let you know, uh, not only did we have the support of uh, Mayor Tommy Battle, and Mr. Jones, thank you for your support, but also we have with us today uh, Laura Hall, our state representative, and also uh, Mr. Will Culver, our city councilman. And thank you both also for coming, because this is very important, and we have the support of our council as well as our legislation our legislators who look at how important this is because this is a police memorial and for fallen officers but it's the officer that are protect this city of which we are all a part of this city and I want to thank you for your for your support as well uh, does anybody have any questions of us check them out <laughs> how much fifteen thousand dollars and so Boeing was gave us fifteen thousand dollars today which helps us tremendously in, in, in continuing to build these funds. And as uh, Mr. Jones said, we also challenge all the other corporations also to uh, donate to the memorial. Mm -hmm.